you are not going to subjugate me through your colonizing ass words. You know what I'm saying? In a thinking that I'm wrong for having standards and boundaries. Shut your goofy ass up. Shut your goofy ass up. Traits that are going to make him a good partner. Again, just want to reiterate that there could be plenty of reasons why beautiful women who no, think they're the whole package are single, and the blame does not always need to be placed on men. Sometimes it can be. There shade. are times when women are the problem. There are times when men are the problem. But blaming each other and taking no accountability for the role that you play is not necessarily the best. And maybe that right there is why you're single. Also, being single is not a punishment. Shade. Like, there's not automatically something wrong with you because you're single. Who cares what you think? There are so many wonderful people out there who are single. Who cares? For many different reasons. No one yeah, I think that's important to remember too. If you're someone who's watching this and you're single and you're like, what am I doing wrong? Or how can I take accountability? Sometimes it just takes people more time. We're all on different life paths. We all have different things going on, different circumstances. And not all of our lives have to look exactly the same. But again, want to reiterate, there are women who are smart, who are beautiful, who are confident that are single. There are women who are smart, beautiful, and confident that are in relationships. And it is not necessarily men's fault either way. And I would say the same thing to men. Who cares? It is not all women's fault. No one said it was. So anyway, I'm just ranting at this point. Shut Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you liked the video or found it helpful, be sure to give it. The hell up out of here. Man. Babbling. The babble. Look, y'all, I know that it was insufferable to watch me go do that, but I, don't, I can't watch these chicks like that, bro. I, I'm I'm doing the best I can. I'm gonna start doing reaction. I'm gonna watch the videos and then I'm gonna um just talk without having the, I can't deal with them no more, bro. Like I'm trying, I can't even watch them to make the reaction. I can't deal with them no more. Bro, like the, the energies is so I can't deal. They, they're gaslighting us. They're watching our content. They're making counter content. That's the same shit that we're saying. Just role reversal with the gender roles. I can't, I can't do this is low IQ insanity. I can't do it, man. I'm not meant to be interacting with females like this. Like I'm, I'm, I'm serious, bro. Like I'm gonna I'm look for more intelligent women to start reacting to, but like the bimbos and the three Oh foes. And then these, these influencers with nothing in their head, you know, I, I can't do it, man. I can't, it messes my energy up. It makes me feel like there is no hope for any woman in America, period. Like, I just be like, man, what, what are you doing here in this video? Are you trying to appeal to sisterhood? Like, are you trying to make yourself feel better? Because not a man listened to that thing and thought, man, this was great and insightful. It was a video for women shading men in a, in a politically correct way. You have to understand, you have women out there. And again, I told you, I'd rather just have black women or Spanish women or whatever cussing me out directly than some passive aggressive white woman with all these shade I, I, in a monotone and no, 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 no. Ancestors fell for that shit, man. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Don't like it at all. Especially when they remind me of my ex wife. Don't like it at all. You know what I'm saying? Just, I'm telling you, man, these be the coverts, man. Uh, they be the coverts, and y'all be thinking, that, oh, she seems sweet. What about what she said seems sweet outside of the tone of it? Not a single word. Not a single word. Let me catch up on these comments, man. These women are wilding, y'all. They are wilding. Yeah, man. You know, I'm glad you joined us, brother. You know, yeah, these women out here, most of them are broke, man. They always trying to leverage some babbling nonsense. When a woman got to talk, anybody, period, when they got to talk a whole lot to get a point across to you, then they should have lost you. They should be showing you by their actions, man. It should be mostly actions. When I hear women online speed talking, lady, why are you talking so fast, man? She wasn't. I'm talking about women that do. She's speed talking to get all her crap in there before somebody, you know, tells her it don't make no sense. But as long as she got that stream of thought and that emotion out of her head, that's all she cares about. 
That's all she cares about. They sit on online all day long. I'm telling you the truth. I told you I'm tapped in. They sit online all day long and go to the uh, 10 percent, 15 percent of men that they think are attractive and hate watch the content that we're making because they're not going to look at a man that's unattractive to get these talking points. That's why on this channel, it went from 3% or 2%, I can't remember, to 23% women. It went from 2% to 23% women in less than two months. Now, I'm not seeing that, that big of a rise in my like button hits. I see a lot of people watching me directly, but they're not hitting that like button. What do you think's going on? Hate watching the guys they find the most attractive. And this is what a woman will do. Since she can't get to you, she's going to get online and drop some bullshit content to make herself feel better in hopes that that content reaches you. Or some other one picks up on the talking points and it reaches you, hoping that you react to it or you make some. They don't care whether you damn near hate them. As long as they're getting attention from you, man. I'm I'm so to the point now, fellas, to where I think they're all just gaslighting us, trolling us, and they know that they ain't got no chance in hell again with one of the real ones of us. So, you know, I'm just going to do what they're doing. That's what I'm doing now. When I, I'm doing what they're doing. Bring me to work out for me. When I see some garbage, I'm just going to make a video. You know, my normal scripting in, nah, 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 I'm just going to make a video when I see you goofies. Since y'all want to call us sassy, but y'all can't sit down and shut up for a minute. Every time we bring up some new talking points within a day, y'all are countering it, you know, almost working in tangent with the powers that be, it seems like, to squash the nuclear family, but you are just a bunch of useful idiots. You don't even know what you're doing. And when you have people out here that are like that, that is dangerous, bro. That is dangerous. You got a bunch of females that think that they're humbling you when they're really pushing the agenda of what they have been told us they were gonna do. And they're so ignorant. They're like, yeah, we showing them. These are the females that you're looking at, at dating, sleeping with, and marrying. They hate you. They hate you. I don't know what I got to tell you. They hate you, bro. Now, I'm telling you this from a brother that loves you, man. I got a son. And I am not going to let one of these females one of the garbage ass daughters mess my kid's head up. Thinking that she a queen or something, a queen of my son and my son don't even know the fool. They hate you. Okay. And all they ever keep doing is trying to find a way to humble you, AKA emasculate you. And they don't care who they work with. They will call you sassy, imply in G-A-Y on you, and then align with that group to do a rally or something. And that group will just turn a blind eye to the fact that those women are using them as a derogatory term against hetero men. Because they all hate you. Okay? Because they all hate you. Yeah. We're the big bad guys of everyone right now. Hetero men. And then the crazy part is like, how did black men get into it? We don't be making no laws about nothing. What are you doing? When I hear white women say, you men, you men, your ancestor, your great, great, great grandma owned slaves. And during the auction, she would reach into his pants and grab his junk in front of everybody and did have them do God knows what else. The female slave owners were the absolute worst. The white women slave owners were the worst. And the same descendant of this slave master will tell me that I'm oppressing her. Bro, I'm done with this country, man. I'm done with the psycho babble. I'm done with you taking from me and then telling me I ain't nothing and then finding different ways to keep telling me I ain't nothing, whether it's through, you know, making a new day. Um, rendition of roots every other year or trying to say that we started at slavery and that's it knowing doggone well that you know i'm saying only certain people can handle the sun I, i'm tired of you taking telling me right now that i'm oppressing women who are clearly oppressing me you know what i'm saying while they're distracting us the uh economy and everything is going up none of us can afford anything anymore you're either poor or you're rich there is no middle class anymore and we're distracted with females and ain't got the sense enough to know what's going on 
not realizing that they're frustrated at the system that's set up against both of us. But since the system makes it easy to have a, a, a individual target to look at, they pointed at us and they're taking every, they know that they're really frustrated because they're broke, they're tired and they're working all the time. And that's only because of the way the economy is going. They ain't got nothing to do with men. Yeah, nothing to do with men. Everybody's tired because we always having to work and we ain't able to enjoy our money that we're making. And these women are taking it out on us. So of course we're getting our passports and going somewhere where our dollar goes longer and the women appreciate us more. Of course we know our dollar is very important to all women. You all want money. You all do. You all want to be taken care of. And now over here in the states, y'all are asking for money, more money than any woman in the Philippines could ask for for her family that she's taking care of, right? Y'all are asking for way more, right? And even for the ones tricking, y'all are out here asking for way more, for yeah, a way more used body to the tricks. It's done. You keep thinking that the makeup and the filters and the going to the gym means that the coochie and the mouth is going to be also upgraded. It's the same raggedy ass mouth that's been on everything and talking about everybody. 